Chapter 22. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, And you, son of man, will you judge? Will you judge the bloody city? Then cause her to know all her abominations. You shall say, Thus says the Lord God, A city shedding blood in her midst, so that her time will come, and that makes idols, contrary to her interest, for defilement. You have become guilty by the blood which you have shed, and defiled by your idols which you have made. Thus you have brought your day near, and have come to your years. Therefore, I have made you a reproach to the nations, and a mocking to all the lands. Those who are near, and those who are far from you, will mock you, you of ill repute, full of turmoil. Behold, the rulers of Israel, each according to his power, have been in you for the purpose of shedding blood. They have treated father and mother lightly within you, the alien they have oppressed in your midst. The fatherless and the widow they have wronged in you. You have despised my holy things and profaned my Sabbaths. Slanderous men have been in you for the purpose of shedding blood, and in you they have eaten at the mountain shrines, meaning that they were idolaters. In your midst they have committed acts of lewdness. In you they have uncovered their father's nakedness. In you they have humbled her who was unclean in her menstrual impurity. One has committed abomination with his neighbor's wife, and another has lewdly defiled his daughter-in-law. And another in you has humbled his sister, his father's daughter. In you they have taken bribes to shed blood, you have taken interest and profits, and you have injured your neighbors for gain by oppression, and you have forgotten me, declares the Lord God. Behold then, I smite my hand at your dishonest gain which you have acquired, and at the bloodshed which is among you. Can your heart endure, or can your hands be strong in the days that I will deal with you? I, the Lord, have spoken and will act. I will scatter you among the nations, and I will disperse you through the lands, and I will consume your uncleanness from you. You will profane yourself in the sight of the nations, and you will know that I am the Lord. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel has become dross to me, and dross again means worthless. All of them are bronze and tin and iron and lead in the furnace. They are the dross of silver. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because all of you have become dross, therefore, behold, I am going to gather you into the midst of Jerusalem. As they gather silver and bronze and iron and lead and tin into the furnace to blow fire on it in order to melt it, so I will gather you in my anger and in my wrath, and I will lay you there and melt you. I will gather you and blow on you with the fire of my wrath, and you will be melted in the midst of it. As silver is melted in the furnace, so you will be melted in the midst of it, and you will know that I, the Lord, have poured out my wrath on you. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, say to her, You are a land that is not cleansed or rained on in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in her midst, like a roaring lion tearing the prey. They have devoured lives. They have taken treasure and precious things. They have made many widows in the midst of her. Her priests have done violence to my law and have profaned my holy things. They have made no distinction between the holy and the profane, and they have not taught the difference between the unclean and the clean. And they hide their eyes from my Sabbaths, and I am profaned among them. Her princes within her are like wolves tearing the prey by shedding blood and destroying lives in order to get dishonest gain. Her prophets have smeared whitewash for them, seeing false visions and divining lies for them, saying, Thus says the Lord God, when the Lord has not spoken. Guess the conspiracy was true. The people of the land have practiced oppression and committed robbery and they have wronged the poor and needy and have oppressed the sojourner without justice. I searched for a man among them who would build up the wall and stand in the gap before me for the land so that I would not destroy it, but I found no one. Thus, I have poured out my indignation on them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their way I have brought upon their heads, declares the Lord God. Our saintly snippet for the day is from a book called All In by Mark Batterson. We want God on our terms, but we don't get God that way. 
That's how we get false religion. It's pick and choose, it's cut and paste. The end result is a false God that we've created in our image. You only get a relationship with God on his terms. You can take it or leave it, but you cannot change the rules of engagement and you don't want to. The Apostle Paul defines the deal that is on the table this way. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. The moment you bow your knee to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, all your sin is transferred to Christ's account and paid in full. It was nailed to the cross 2,000 years ago, but that's only half the gospel. Mercy is not getting what you deserve, the wrath of God. Grace is getting what you don't deserve, the righteousness of Christ. Everything you've done wrong is forgiven and forgotten, and everything Christ did right, his righteousness, is transferred to your account, and then God calls it even. Let's pray it out for the day. Dear Lord, unfortunately, we still live in the flesh, and the flesh is prone to want what it wants. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Yet if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just and will forgive us of our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Lord, it hurts us when we offend you, and when we do, it reminds me of a fish out of water. When we stray from your living water, it makes us wriggle and toss around uncomfortably until we return to where we're at home in your presence. Jesus, thank you for your continual ongoing grace whenever we ask for your cleansing. And thank you for working within our lives and souls to make us more and more like you as we are changed into your glorious image. In Jesus' name we pray and love. Amen. Thank you, guys. All right. We will keep pressing forward, onward and upward. God bless you. Take care.